So about a week ago, I made a plugin that adds a snail to the game that chases you around the map and tries to kill you. It doesn't actually kill you, but it, it, <laughs> it might crash your client. <laughs> Anyway, since then I've made some changes to the snail, like this neat death animation, but basically nothing else has changed. Except I'm gonna keep playing it, and I'm gonna keep being an idiot, uh, but I've made a new rule for myself, inspired by some of my friends who are playing this game. If the snail touches me, I'm going to drop everything in my inventory. Why, you ask? Well, I don't know, because I feel like I'm gonna definitely die again, and I don't want to remake the account. I don't want to pay for more bonds, so there you go. That's the new rule. Anyway, join me on this journey, and if you want to make your own Snowman plugin, you can download the plugin in the Plugin Hub. It's like slightly less likely to crash your computer now, so that's good. <laughs> new and improved snail, new and improved idol. I was hiding in this basement. Don't judge me. It's just what I do, okay? And we're gonna go, first of all, finish Romeo and Juliet. I don't know where we were in it, but we're gonna go finish it. And uh, we're not gonna get caught by the snail. That's the plan. We're not gonna get caught by the snail. So this is another thing I don't know about the snail. Can the snail get me into cutscene? I don't think so. It, I assume this is an instance, but I don't actually know how RuneScape works. I made a plugin and it's <laughs> crashed some computers, you know? Just... Can you imagine just like me standing here doing the quest? And then the snail just walks down those stairs, and before I know it, before I have a chance to move anywhere, my green helm is gone. It's the kind of thing that goes through my head whenever I play this game mode. It's it's pretty beautiful. Anyway, there's Romeo and Juliet done. Really useful quest. Glad I uh got that out of the way early. That's really gonna come in handy for the uh for okay we're gonna go through the strong of the security but for real this time oh, fucking get down here oh my god oh my god i got it wrong ah let me through no <laughs> i'm just gonna quickly cast a lumbridge home telly get the iron man armor and then we'll go up to strong of security get that 10k and then mini game teleport out of there because like I, i'm gonna have to get out pretty quick the snail is moving slower now but like it can still find me pretty quick it's proven that multiple times <sighs> We've returned, ladies and gentlemen, to the place of my downfall, where my hubris caught up with me, and where I found other poetic words to say that I lost to a snail. Oh, God. Now we're actually getting to the floor where things can go a little bit crazy. We're just not going to let it get crazy, okay? It's just, we're just going to go down there. It's going to be fine. Are there things that can one hit me? I, I genuinely don't know the answer. I was gonna do the whole like question talking thing that I do sometimes. I don't know if these things can one hit me. I mean, actually, I'm a I'm a god. I'm invincible. Can any NPC hurt me, or am I just that good? I think I might just be that good. I mean, this is beautiful. Who do, does anyone ever die to the struggle of security? Not me. <laughs> I died to snails, yeah, but <laughs> but not the struggle of security. Speaking of snail. Anyway, there's a 10k. No shot I'm doing the last floor. I think it actually is easier, but still, I'm just... No th OH FUCK! You're joking. I have to drop. I have to drop. I said I was gonna minigame telly out. Why didn't I minigame telly out? Oh my god, I have to drop. I know some people in the comments are going to say I did this on purpose. I... <sighs> oh, I'm so angry. I'm actually speechless. I'm so angry. Oh, you absolute dingus. The struggle of security is 2-0 and on me right now, just for the record. Why did I go back? For the money, which I did! Oh, son of a bitch. My next goal, because everything is falling apart, is to get the Arty Cape. Normally, I just get the Chronicle, but I don't even know how to get the money for that. I don't know how to make money on this dumb account. So, we're gonna get the Arty Cape 1, which is gonna take a little bit of time, but it's also just gonna be a good item in general. We're gonna get that, and I know at least I need a Rusty Sword, so I'm just gonna start thieving. And my plan is to thieve in Varrock for a little bit, then home teleport to get to Lumbridge and then thieve there, which would hopefully buy me some time from the snail. It's not very far, but I'm trying to like, I'm trying to be a little bit smarter, which to no one's surprise is not going great. 
Oh, God, wait, why is it this way? Oh, because they left from Varrock, okay? So I correctly timed me leaving Varrock, which is good. Bad is that the snail is now blocking my access to the men I was going to use. Ooh, okay, okay, okay. This is actually good. This will restore my stats, and then I'll go through the Castle Wars portal. Oh my god, I'm gonna literally poop my pants. <laughs> Okay, so my escape plan, if I run into the snail again, is walk away. Just, just walk away. Just don't, just don't let it touch me. There's ten thieving, and at this point, I feel pretty confident that the snail is just broken because I don't know how it hasn't found me by now. Unless it really was trying hard to find me when I was in Yanil, and maybe like. It used the Ferox Enclave teleport. I don't know if it can do that, if it can use the Castle Wars portal from there. Okay, 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 okay. There it is. It's coming up from the zoo, so it definitely tried to get me in Yanil first. It's okay. We remain calm. I don't know what we're gonna do. We're just gonna keep running, honestly. I, I mean, like, we're just gonna keep running. <laughs> 15 thieving, no snails. I literally, I can't, but fucking snail literally shows up right as I say that. <laughs> You know, you know what? This is no. I shouldn't go up here. This is dumb. I was gonna go bank my stuff so I don't have to drop any of this. But no, that's that's silly. That's silliness. But that makes me think of another rule. I think there should be an extra penalty if I die with nothing in my inventory. Because if I see the snail, I can just run to a bank, deposit everything. Then it doesn't matter if I get hit. So I think I should have to drop like half my cash stack or something like that, right? Like, it has to matter. Let me know in the comments what you think the punishment should be in addition to dropping everything in my inventory. Like, I think there should be something so I can't just bank and be safe. <sighs> we need to talk about the ham hideout. It's entirely underground, and there's one way out. I don't think a home teleport's gonna cut it, so I'm gonna need to get in there. And I'm gonna need to get that rusty sword and then run away very quickly because I will be cornered if the snail comes for me. Oh my god, if I get caught in the jail cell, it's fine. We're, listen, it's gonna be okay. I'm panicking over nothing, probably. <laughs> I'm probably, yeah, I'm probably panicking over nothing. Okay, 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 okay. We can't panic. We can't panic. We cannot panic. We cannot panic. We absolutely cannot panic. Oh, run! Oh, God! Oh, my God! I mean, to be honest with you, I think we handled it well. I, th I think... I think all things considered, that was cooler heads prevailed. <laughs> I think it was good. <laughs> oh! Yes! Yes! I... Okay. Technically, you're supposed to have multiple. Like, they say, like, I think there's something about, like, you can fail, like, it might not end up being identified as a sword. And we just got another one, baby! Alright, two should be enough. Now we just gotta get to Artie without rousing the suspicions of a snail. <laughs> sword, and we get an iron sword back. That cost a hundred coins? Oh, man. Um, let's go out on the fishing trawler. Let's do that. There's no way this is gonna... Could this cause problems? The ship's gonna be back in four minutes, which is obviously way too long. I'm like, I can't just stay in the same spot for four minutes, so... Oh, no! It took the charter ship! Where was it? Okay, 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 okay. We have to relax. We have to relax. Run when we can. We 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 run when we can. Come on. Come on. Keep it moving. Keep it moving. It's gonna take the shortest path, so if I don't take the shortest path, I'm fucked. How am I out of red energy? Why did I use all my red energy? This was so stupid. Rule number one. I'm not gonna try and think of any funny business. I'm not gonna try and sneak into the stronghold of security or anything. Okay, I know what to do. 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 I'm gonna use the wilderness lever. I have to use the wildy lever at some point anyway. I'm gonna use the wilderness lever. Go to Edgeville. I don't know why I'm doing that because it can also use the wildy lever, as I learned last episode, painfully. Wait. 
<gasps> no, no, no. Don't pull that. Oh, I can't go to Edgeville. I forgot that was a tire. Oh, fuck me. Oh, my lordy. Oh, my god. Oh, what an absolute mess. Oh, Dragon Empling. Guys, Dragon Empling World 370. Like, maybe, like, four days ago. I think I have to. I'm so stressed. I, I've never been so stressed with this animation. I think we're good, though. Okay. Ooh, okay. Okay. Room mystery is done with no snails in sight. I think next I'm just gonna knock out some random diary steps. I'm feeling good now. I, I'm, I'm feeling confident. All right, well, there's 20, no. There's two more diary steps done. Those ones were super easy. And now while I just wait for the snail to find me, I'm just gonna go ahead and start thieving cakes because I need to get 20 thieving anyway. So uh, let's do it. I guess I don't strictly need 20 thieving for this task, do I? Because, like, I could just buy the silk somewhere else and then sell it to them. But I'm gonna get 20 thieving anyway, because number go up, make brain feel good. <laughs> that's, that's my only reason. I just want my brain to feel good while a snail chases me. Oh my god, where did he come? What the fucking shit? Oh my god, why are you going that way? Don't go that way! Oh my god, that was so close! Where did he- I wasn't even looking at my screen- He came from the spirit tree, didn't he? <gasps> and there we go, 20 thieving. I just kind of want to go straight in, get as much silk as I can, Wait 30 minutes, sell it back, and then buy some runes and go do Witch's House. That's the plan right now. So hopefully it works out. And I'm sure on the way I'll see the snail and I'll, uh, I'll go to do a little boop in my pants. I may have done a little sneaky and ran over to Karen because there's a way better silk stall spot here than in Artie. And the best part is I got a little bit of distance from the snail as well. I don't know how long I have, but I'm kind of gaming right now. I mean, like, not to brag, but this is going pretty well for me. There is our snaily friend. I think I can get this full inventory and then run away. That'll be great. All right, let's run. Let's see if this guy's still mad at me for stealing the sulk. It was a while ago, so I feel like he's probably over it. I feel like we've we've buried the hatchet, right? Yeah, all right, no, okay, fair, fair enough, fair enough, fair enough. All right, so I end with almost 4K. I'm gonna use at least 1.5K of that on a fire staff, which I can't really use, but I still want. It's the best of the staffs. And then I'm going to spend the rest on runes, which will hopefully get me around 13 mage. But I might just try and do Witch's House with whatever spell I have access to, which is definitely a bad idea. But I've never... Do you guys ever watch me because I have good ideas? I feel like no, right? Like, definitely no. And there is the big 13 magic. We can now use Fire Strike, which is going to be huge. To do this, I need to run across the map. Every time I see the snail, just slowly running around, killing things, seeing what I could do. I was trying to kill imps and get uh, beads for imp catcher, but that wasn't working out. So I think now all I need to do is go steal some more silk so I can buy more mind and air runes, and then we could do Witch's House, and hopefully it'll go smoothly. Having Fire Strike will be a huge, huge help. All right, it's time to speed run this quest like I've never speed run it before. I need to get in and out of here ASAP. I don't really have a teleport. I mean, I can home telly, but if that freaking rat, no, not rat. What is it again? Snail finds me, I'm screwed. Use cheese, use cheese, use cheese on mouse hole, use magnet on mouse, go through door. Now it's game time, baby. I gotta keep an eye out for this snail. I keep wanting to call it a rat. What is wrong with me? No way for the Are you joking? This is terrible. This is terrible. This is really not good. This is really not good that the snail is here right now. Oh, this is terrible, man. I can't believe the snail is here right now. I let it so far away just for this. If it comes through that door, I have to pop a home telly. No, I'll pop I'll pop a clam wars telly. Oh, it went through the door. No, I have to leave. I have to get more cheese. Oh, this is the worst. The cool. All right, so now it should have to go a very, very long way to get back here, which is good. So we can rush and go get that cheese and then do the quest for real. And hopefully it'll all be fine. And then that's the plan. Here we go. All right, take two. Here we go. We go down here. We go get the magnet. We use the cheese. We didn't need the magnet? Question mark? Snail. No snail. No snail. 
I just realized. No! Yep, I'm a thief. Get me out of here. Where do you teleport me to? I've never lost this before. Perfect. Oh. Okay, I took the snail away, like almost to where it spawns in the Kevos Lowlands. I took that boat. I went right up until I could, like, into the Lizardmen because I wasn't gonna risk that. This is as far as I, I can safely get this snail away from me. If I can't do this quest now, I might just never be able to do this quest. And you know what? Maybe that's just a part of the game mode. And maybe that's just part of the beauty of the snail. Maybe we just aren't meant to do certain <laughs> quests. Maybe we're just, we're just meant to sit here and wallow as this mouse unlocks this door for me. Okay, now we have to do this fight without dying, which I feel decently confident about, but I don't feel confident about what happens if the snail shows up. I, that I'm a little bit more concerned about, but let's cross that bridge when we get there. Let's just try and do this stupid quest. Okay, there we go. We can take the ball and we can get the hell out of here. Give the ball back and we get 6,000 hit points experience right up to 25 hit points. That is massive. That is going to make so many things doable now without having to like sweat my balls off about it. <laughs> So I don't really remember step by step how Plague City goes, but I know it's pretty fast. I just need to like speed run this bad boy. The snail is super close to me, so I'm not gonna be able to do this all in just one go, but we're gonna do our best, okay? We're gonna try our hardest because we, we believe in ourselves. I stayed for as long as I could, but I think I have to run now. I'll just get trapped in there, so. I don't want to speak too soon, but I dropped the snail off in Lumbridge, came back here with the Wildy Lever, and it has been smooth sailing. I have zoomed through this quest, honestly. This has been great. And there it is. Playing City completed 2.4k mining XP. And an already teleport that I'll definitely be able to use for sure. Definitely. And there's the snail right on cue. All right, now we run. I resisted buying the Chronicle for as long as I could, but I'm going to need it to do Biohazard anyway. It's going to be a really useful Varrock Tele. And plus, I need to stop being in situations where my home teleport and Clan Wars Tele are on cooldown and I can't get anywhere. So it's worth the investment, I think. It is a gosh darn travesty that I am wearing those legs so much. Look, look at my knees, man. I mean, just look at... Look at me in general. I mean, I wish I could take off the plague mask. Just let me get on the other side and we're... <sighs> All right, well, I'm almost done with what I need to do in already. <laughs> the timing, I didn't even, oh my God. The timing for that is hilarious. That is absolutely amazing. I'll just quickly run to Elena. I, I think I have the time. As long as I trap this guy deep in here. Okay, come on, 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 all right, no problems with getting the chemicals over to Varrock, which I think is the part I would be most likely to mess up. So we should be home free for this quest now. All I have to do is get this guy to confirm what's going on, which is nothing. There is nothing going on. And then I can Clan Wars Telly, go back to Artie the way I usually do it, and we should be able to get this done and the Artie cave done without the snail finding us. And there it is, biohazard completed. Let's go enter that training camp and get this done. Uh, so I was, I did this whole thing where I was like, oh, I finished the diary, but no, I didn't. I completely forgot I still need to do the fishing trawler task, which is really, really annoying because I have to stay in one place for like, who knows how long until the boat leaves. So I'm just gonna go down there, see if the boat's about to leave, and if not, I'm just gonna have to panic tell you with my chronicle because the snail will be able to get me very quickly with the boat. It's probably somewhere in Mistelin right now, if I had to guess. <laughs> There's, so all I gotta do is go to Port Serum and then just boot me and I gotta drop everything. Okay, it says the ship will be back in one minute. I think what I have to do is just wait on the outside, see if the snail appears, and if it doesn't, I'll get on the boat right before it leaves. And then hopefully we'll have this done. I think I know 
how to get off this boat without teleporting super far away. Now we just hope the snail isn't right next to me. Okay, we're good to go. Let's go get that arty cape and let's be safe. All right, two pines, stop moving around. Give me the darn cape and the lamp. I forgot about the lamp. I'm not gonna be able to use that for like anything. God. Ah, oh, you need 30. You need level 30 to use that lamp and I don't think you can bank it either. Well, this has been an awfully productive episode. I'm still a snail man, even though I may have lost that at the beginning of the episode. Do, do, we don't talk about that. But we got the cape, everything is good, and now I just have to continue being anxious. <laughs> okay, bye.